Now, one topic we haven't necessarily covered on this is Venezuela. And the reason is, is because, well, at the moment, it is a shit show. And it, the situation down there is so freaking complicated that it's not funny. But we do have something that we can cover. And this is where it gets a little... This is the world we live in these days, people. Venezuela currency is now worth less than World of Warcraft gold. Well, at least we know what people in Venezuela can do for a job. The ongoing turmoil and failure of the socialist policies have caused the value of the Venezuelan currency, the Boulevard, to tank, sinking to levels lower than the video game currency. That is just really sad. The US Department of Treasury issued sanctions on Monday against the government of Nicolas Monroe following an election victory in the US ambassador to the United Nations. Nikki Haney called a sham and other steps towards dictatorship. Well, for once, Nikki, you and I actually agree. Now, just before we keep going, what they're talking about as a election victory is basically where he filled the parliament up with his own people and even then only just managed to get enough votes to scrape through. Uh, we'll cover that in another topic, but anyway. Advanced Whaler Twitter user Kepa Prime was the first to note the plumbering value of the boulevard during the offset of riots and mass protests against the Morocco government. He noted on the 14th of July that the exchange rate for the boulevard was lower than the digital currency used in World of Warcraft. I'll put a photo of that tweet up. Peter Murdoch Morse the uh, Blaze. The new data suggests that Kepa's Prime's numbers are outdated and that the boulevard is worth even less. Dollar today, which was tracks the unofficial value of the boulevard, rates it at 11,185.95 per US dollar. Worth 2.6k less than the when Kepa Prime first made his observations. As Morse points out, citing a 2015 CNN Marty article, the value of the boulevard hovered around 279 boulevards per dollar. The currency has been in free fall ever since. The Morocco, Morocco, whatever his name is, government attempted to stop the bleeding with the introduction of a new controlled exchange rate called the Digio area this March. But it did not do as much as citizens clinging to their precious but increasingly worthless boulevards. The only currency besides the US dollars and bitcoins worth anything on Valor's market and black market. In contrast, you will receive around 65,000 gold in World of Warcraft for every dollar you spend. The fluctuating value per World of Warcraft token prices is based on an in-game trade and tied to World of Warcraft tokens, which cost players $20 each. With the full takeover by the Morocho, Morocho government, whatever his name is, and their refusal to back down from its failed economics, the future of Venezuela is nothing but bleak. Having the value of your currency be worth less than World of Warcraft gold should be enough to prove that socialism always results in failure. So guys, obviously at the end of the day, just to wrap up, basically if you will live in Venezuela, jump on World of Warcraft and make money doing trading because you're probably going to make more money off it. But seriously guys, at the end of the day, um, you know obviously things are in the shitter when your economy is less than World of Warcraft, an online digital currency. Um, but guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want me to do a full report sort of thing on Venezuela? Um, do you want me to go through and try to explain what happened? Um, or do you want me to leave it for better people like Sargon, for example? Apart from that, guys, a little bit of self-promotion. There will be a few updates today. Uh, the reason being is because we went through, we're working on two other big videos that have just been finished, which is why there's no video yesterday and over on Sunday. Uh, one of them is a two and a half hour debate on how we could set up Kekistan. So all from my Kekis, obviously check that out. And the other one is a rebuttal to the John something show uh, where he takes shots at Alex Jones. Uh, apart from that, guys, obviously this video will also be up today as well. Also, we're going to do the rest of the news. So strap your boots in, guys, grab a drink, and get ready for a whole stack of vids. Apart from that, guys, have a great day and enjoy.